How did I tame my ego? The question implies that my ego is tame and gone, gone or tame. And that's not entirely true. First of all, a lot of people throw around this term ego very loosely, and most people have no concept of what an ego is. Like if I say, they say, oh yeah, it's the, uh, it's the ego, yeah, the ego. But I say, okay, specifically, what is the ego? Ego is thought, plain and simple. The thought in your head, the voice that never shuts up, that bothers you your whole day, the voice that you've gotten so used to hearing every second of your life to the point where you don't even realize that you are being bothered by this thing every moment of your life, that's your ego. In trading, that's the last thing you want to be present or the last thing you should be listening to because thought, which is ego, that chatterbox, Thought can never be consistent. Thought can never be reliable. Your thoughts betray you. In a trade, outside of a trade, in life, in trading. Trading is just a microcosmic version of life, right? So what do I do with traders and their thinking? They know, they will tell you that I teach them to leave their ego alone, to not Feed it, which is to not give in to what the ego is saying. We don't follow thoughts in trading. We follow a plan. The plan replaces the ego. So we dethrone the thinking process. Listen to me carefully. This is very important. This is what courses don't have, and they should have this. Your trading plan is the replacement for your ego. But when you start to deploy a trading plan, a piece of paper with a set of rules, when you start to give the piece of paper the power, the decision-making power, you are taking it from the ego, and the ego is going to rebel. It has been in the CEO position of your life and of your trading for a very long time, and it will not go down without a fight. And each time the ego tries to invade your trading plan on that piece of paper, you say, no, 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 no. You know, your voice says, yeah, but you, you know, you should take the money right now. You're up $300. You're up $300. It's only four minutes. It's a four minute trade. $300. Take it. And you say, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I should take it. Then wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me check my plan. Oh, my plan says I only have the right to take profits once the stock moves to a new high. It hasn't moved to a new high yet. Get out of here, ego. And that's, do that over and over and over again. And the voice gets quieter and quieter until one day it's not there. The elimination of that voice, that chatterbox that will not shut up, that's your ego. The removal of that brings in, creates the room for a new voice to come into existence. That's the voice of experience. Now, the voice of ego is the imposter of the real voice, which is the voice of experience. And that's the voice that you want to come into being. It will not be present with you during the first few years of your trading life because you don't have experience yet. But once your experience reaches a certain tipping point, that creates a voice that comes from experience. And that voice is what people call the trader's gut. You think you have a gut now. You just have a gut from, from drinking and eating too much maybe, like I do. But you don't have a real gut, a trader's sixth sense, until your experience has been brought to a certain level to bring into being the voice of wisdom the voice that comes from experience. All right, guys, I know I've belabored that point, but that's such a very interesting question. There are far too many things on tactics and techniques, and they leave out 85% of this game is what this question dealt with right here. Do you understand? The ego. 85% of the game is psychological. 85%. So it deserves 
it deserves more time and attention for sure.